Hi, Mohammed. How are you? Good, thank you. Uh, thank you very much for your time thank and you uh, for accepting to share your uh, ideas and opinions about uh, the design world. Oh, it's um, a pleasure. Yeah. So I wanted to start by asking you a question about while working on so many strategic projects in the region and globally, where do you see the trends? Uh, what are the trends that you see? Where do you see the design uh, industry going, uh, specifically probably in hospitality and lighting? I think definitely the, the, the general trend is, is tech. Tech is getting more and more into uh, everything that uh, use uh, you use basically, especially in hospitality, um, ease of um, entering, exiting, checking in, checking out, using uh, your own mobile to uh, listen to your music, to watch your Netflix or whatever. I think this is this is uh, more of the tendency, and the same for uh, light control. I mean, you, you really sort of the GMRS system. It's almost connected to your mobile, so when you come in, you can control everything. Or even before that would be ideal, you know, before instead of the normal tendency that you have to go and stick in the card and wait for the room to cool down because it's gone off. Mm -hmm. uh, it's nice that, you know, as you're going up, you switch it on and it starts cooling. It's nice you're mentioning the, um, the lighting and the controlling and the AC, etc. And when we are in a luxury environment, we always expect everything to be perfect and to have the best experience. And it's very difficult to have the right balance between luxury and sustainability, because luxury means that everything is uh, abundant, let's say. How do you manage to ally sustainability to luxury? First of all, I don't agree. Okay. Sustainability is not luxury. Sustainability is a given. It okay. has to be always done. Uh, I, I think there's two parts to it. Mm -hmm. There is the, uh, let's say, the analog part and mm -hmm. the digital part. The analog part is designing properly. Uh, you know, a, a building that is uh, lead platinum and unbelievably passive house and insulated and uses one watt per square meter or whatever empty is, is useless. It's the most unsustainable thing. Mm -hmm. Uh, a building uh, that has a hotel that has 10,000 square meters of back of house that is not used or just used to store furniture or something like that, th this is unsustainable. Mm -hmm. uh, designing uh, is, is uh, optimizing the space. It's not really, I mean, if, if you want to have a room that's 50 square meters, it's 50 square meters. It doesn't have to be 200 square meters. You can, if it's nicely designed, if it's properly designed, if the light is uh, uh, coming in at the right place, it feels bigger. The height, the proportions, everything, that, that is what makes luxury. Mm -hmm. is, is having a complete design, it's not having abundance of things, I think. This is, this is let's say, the analog part. The, the digital part is technology. Uh, obviously, uh, lighting, lighting control, uh, sensors, movement sensors, uh, presence sensors, all these are critical because um, Energy is is wasted if you're not using it. Uh, th this is this is where technology comes in, and it's it's not just uh, lighting and AC. It's 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 everything. Uh, you know, we we did a, a project in 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 Germany. Uh, it was a building of an office building, and there were uh, on each floor there were uh, male and female toilets, and they had soap dispensers, and they did a study by putting a sensor in the soap dispenser, so they knew. Uh, how much soap is left in each dispenser. And by that, just that, they saved uh, a person whose job was to go around every day going through this 30 floors and 30 different soap dispensers, opening them to see something like that. Mm -hmm. it, it's not just, I mean, the person, but the person takes the lift, he comes to work, with, takes a car. All, the, all this is, is energy that's used at the cost of one sensor. Mm -hmm. So I think this, this is the, the, the digital part of, of uh, technology is helping a lot uh, with, uh, with sustainability, or it's not so much sustainability, but the um, miss uh, wastage of, of, uh, of products. Mm -hmm. Yeah, interesting. I love the example of the sensors in the soaps. And yeah, I hope we will have more and more sensors in general everywhere. And to this point, where do you see the future? What are the, the main uh, new ideas that you see coming in, in the future? Tendency definitely is what I said. It's, it's uh, everything connected, everything. Y y you are in control. Mm -hmm. I think we have to go in the right direction to new technology 
to connectivity and for the user to be in control. Yeah, I, I like a, a quote saying luxury stops when the guest has to start thinking. Yeah. This is when it becomes complicated, yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. true. <laughs> so you mentioned connectivity, control, energy saving. Um, how do you implement this as a design from the beginning in a project? Um, I mean, it's, it's different parts. Okay, let, let's talk about uh, sort of probably the lighting control is, is the most uh, uh, common thing and, and, and probably one of the strengths of, of, of Lutron. Um, you know, I, I started using, uh, without knowing it, uh, my house in, in Iraq when I was born. I mean, I'm talking my, my father built it in 1966. It had uh, the original Lutron big ball uh, uh, dimmer. The Capri. The Capri. And uh, I, I did not find out what it was till later, but it was a very normal thing, you know. It was very fun when you were little to sort of play around with the light and just, I used to test what the maximum, the minimum light you can have to see. So this is, you know, this is, it sort of teaches you how to control light. And, and uh, it's very surprising how much little light we need, really. I mean, with a one candle, which is one watt, it's probably more than enough to light a room, but we put 2,000 2, watts. Uh, then, uh, many years later, when I started uh, sort of practicing interior design and architecture, uh, there, was, uh, there was only one dimmer that could control um, more than 400 watts. Uh, and at the time, it was even, this is probably before uh, halogen lamps or even the 50 watt lamps. So it was all quite powerful, you know, there was 150 watt per fitting or something like that. And uh, there was nothing to dim it. You, you had to break up the lights and do like a ho whole uh, strip of, of, of dimmers. Then Lutron came up with something which was just like a very sleek up and down. It was really a game changer uh, at the time. When sort of uh, uh, halogen started disappearing and uh, lead started appearing, uh, they sort of disappeared a bit because the, the, that strength was not possible. and. For many years, we were just using, uh, I was using blinds of Lutron. That's the only thing I was using because, uh, I mean, till now, they are definitely the best blinds there are. They're most quiet. Uh, they're, they're unbelievable. I, I don't know why anyone cannot uh, do, do a, a similar product, <laughs> but they're, they're unique. You have a secret sauce. They're yeah. unique. It's less than 30 decibels, actually. It's unbelievable. Yeah. It's unbelievable. It's I mean, not, you do not hear it. You it's not, not perceivable it. to the human uh, yeah. hearing. Incredible, yeah. incredible. And, and uh, after that, I think the big change that, um, uh, that happened recently is, is with opening up the system, uh, having it, uh, being able to use a GMRS system based on Lutron, simplifying it, uh, being able to talk to other um, systems or protocols. Uh, and I think that's very nice because uh, th there was a, a period where it was uh, just being used for lighting, and mm -hmm. it's it's it shouldn't be like that, you know. Uh, control, uh, I understand, it comes from lighting, and it's the most the thing that you notice. But a control system has to be very generic, has to control everything. Uh, you cannot have a thermostat, a lighting control, underfloor heating, and blinds control. No one would enjoy this. It has to be a button. You need a button all on, all off. Very simple. The temperature is there, the heating is there, and I think this this is also the future. I mean, uh, there are protocols which are more open, and their protocols are more more closed. But I think this is um, Lutron is going on the right track now, and I think this is the 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 second game changer uh, to sort of replace the the old dimmers that were unique at the time. Thank you for sharing the the history and bringing back the the memories. Uh, it's. It's really nice to see the impact of uh, creating uh, an innovation in the market and continuing with, um, with the development of it. Mm. More is, is coming, we cannot talk okay. about it now. We okay. will have another interview well, uh, where a we... A new Capri? A a new new, Capri? Probably a new Capri, yeah. Okay. So something uh, is cooking, uh, we'll talk about it uh, next Perfect. time. Perfect. Yeah. Thank you very much for your Pleasure. time Pleasure. and uh, you. see you again.